Yo, what's going on, guys? Friend host your Connor X Crash, and today we're gonna be going over the story trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generations. Well, not really Sonic Generations, more like Shadow Generations. Actually, you know what? Screw the intro. You know what? Let's just jump into the analysis. Play the play the reaction. Well, I didn't think we we're gonna get something any of more of this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. I knew we were gonna get more. Shadow. No. The promised time is nigh. We're gonna get a shooter shot trailer. again. Well, the story I'm trailer. getting chills. Someone I'm getting chills. Oh my gosh! What the hell? Is what is the body horror? I destroyed no. you once. Oh no! Let's go. The jump's back. Oh no. my gosh! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! What is this? Oh my gosh! 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 Oh my what is this? Oh my god! Yo! Wait! Let us! Let us! I call it! I call it! Let us! 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 There he is, boys. Wait, what the? What's the happening? time meter? Oh, time, time meter. meter? They're showing it. Okay. Huh? What's happening? They're showing it. Wait. <gasps> no way. <gasps> no way. No, no way! way. No, 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 no way! Memories. No way! Villains. Bro. Set the timeline back to normal. And Bro, this ain't no new hour game. This ain't no new hour game. However, that wasn't the only trailer that we got during Sonic Central. Hi, hi. So I just popped in. Did you guys know that Sony posted another trailer for the game? Who? What? Wait, a brand new one? Wait, wait. That's Sonic versus Shadow. Oh my gosh! It's in it! Wait, wait, wait! That's not a bunch of shadows! Oh Chat, we're not done yet! There's more! There's not- there's more! Okay, hold up. No, let me- let me look- let me look at this. Let me look at this. Hold up. I wanna see this. I didn't- don't! What the hell? Wait, 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 wait! Sonic versus Shadows in the expansion! It's in the Mario? expansion! Wait, wait, wait! Brand, brand new, uh, Prison oh. Island- not Prison Island, what do you call it? The, for Sonic Forces! Wait, it's, it's, this is a here. whole new. This looks like a whole new level Prison design. Hall? Whole new level design. Oh. Prison Hall? Isn't that what that is? Oh, oh that clean. Dude, that's so. Oh my god. Dude, that's Shadow, so is, Shadow, Bro, what is, is Shadow is styling on them. No. Wait a minute. Force is right. Are you oh kidding me? Yeah, this is Force's level design. Oh my gosh. That's, that's insanity. <laughs> Enter a new this dimension. is insanity, bro. bro. What the literal? Oh my gosh. This is Brother. insane. Yeah. Okay. This gameplay Speaker. is so damn good. The microphone. I... Mm -hmm. Banana. Banana. Oh my gosh, oh, yeah. bro. Let's you get on PS5? Yeah, bro, okay. <laughs> bro, this is Wait, crazy. This is new. Wait, hold up. This, this. Look here. Okay. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> they actually, they show Sonic versus Shadow. For real, yeah. dude. Sonic bro, versus Shadow. So this is something. Remain. Yeah. Bro, are they gonna, dude, are they gonna have Sonic as a freaking boss battle? Dude, finally. Um. <clears throat> at, at what point did they show Sonic versus Shadow? At the, the very beginning. beginning of the PS5 trailer. At the very beginning. What? Oh my god. Bro. Brother. Well, let's go back to this trailer, shall we? This cutscene, by the way, at first I didn't like the cartoony look of the character models, but now I actually really do appreciate it. Because looking back on the realism that Sonic Frontiers took, um, I'm glad that we're going back into this cartoony look while still having that high fidelity, like with the screen space reflections on the floor, and even with like the like the the compute the consoles right here in the terminals. Everything here is just so high quality and so of high fidelity. Like Sonic Team has literally been up with the budget every single title it come out with recently, and it's like 
Okay, okay, Sega's locking in again, again with the program, again with the system, they're locking in with it. And Jill Robotnik here, looking fresh as always, my guy, my guy right here before he goes insane, right here. Even the arc here as well, man, the arc here is just so high quality and fidelity. I mean, I see a little bit of um, blurriness on the textures right here, but that's no big deal. Either way, this is like seeing the arc and just high quality 4K a max resolution it's just, it's just awesome to see in this modern day and age of gaming and i, I i'm really glad the song team is taking good care and making sure that everything is at the highest fidelity it can be with the set pieces the visual effects everything here we're gonna get into the visual effects later because oh my goodness they go hard here so yeah it looks like right here gerald is waking up shadow for the very first time out of his i guess yeah uh, yeah out of his container right here that i uh, was cryostasis that's okay so we're gonna be seeing that for the first time right here um, Maria's looking good as well. At first, when I saw this at, for the first time at Sonic Central, I don't know how many frames this would go back. I thought this was a, like a different outfit for Maria for a second, but I think it's just the lighting here. I don't think it's like nothing too big of a deal here. So, I have two questions here. Okay, so either this is basically a graphical glitch, possibly that they didn't finish, or this is actually intentional, and like, I feel like, like Doom is entangling something within Shadow's soul. I don't know if that- that might be going a little bit too deep, but- it is, it is out there. It is out there, though. It, that could be a thing. I might be talking. I might be stretching a little bit much, but it's it, it's it, it could be a possibility, though. I think this is Black Doom basically giving Shadow his Doom powers right here, his powers, his abilities right here that we're going to play as, play as throughout the games. Also, Black Doom model looking smooth as ever, looking very clean, very crisp with the polygons. I love to see it. You love to you love to see it, man. You really love. You really do, man. You really do. We're not just covering this trailer, by the way. Just to just to um clarify, there is another trailer that PlayStation uploaded literally basically at the same time yesterday that um as of recording this. That basically goes over even more footage of, for of the forces stage that we're gonna see later. So stay tuned for that. We got more of Westopolis right here. Got more of the of the stages right here, Radical Highway. So this one it kind of looks, looks like a time eater level right here. Although we see Doom at the end, so this might not just be a, this might just be another one. Whether Doom's illusion, like Black Doom's illusions, not time eater. But the purple kind of gave me the the, the vibe either, or it could be Mephilus too, cause. Meth we're gonna get into Mephilus in a second. We're gonna get into that in a little bit, bro. <laughs> we got some we got some theories about that one. Alright, we got more radical highway action going on here. More Chaos Island, which and Kingdom Island. I, I do have a question about um Chaos Island again when we get to that on screen again. Yeah, here in Chaos Island, like, yeah, like what's going on with this? Erupting volcano in Chaos Island? Like we the volcano never erupted in um Sonic for Tears. And also, Shadow never played a big role in Sonic for Tears, so I don't I still don't understand why Shadow is here. Maybe it's just because Sonic for Tears is such a recent entry. I guess they want to try and do that time travel aspect to the Shadow Generations game as well, regardless of what game Shadow has been in. And as far as we know, Shadow wasn't even in Sonic for Tears, so like maybe he was there on his own, on his own accord, maybe like um without you know without Sonic or his friends knowing. I don't even know, man. We haven't gotten anything confirmed about that yet. And yeah, the volcano erupting is just something we haven't seen before. It might just be another one of Doom's illusions, maybe just the destruction of Chaos Island because of Black Doom. I, I, I'm, in, I'm interested to see where this is going to go, um, lore-wise. I don't think this is going to be anything lore-wise. I think it's just going to be another illusion. I feel like this is going to be a lot of Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness in this in this expansion. I really think so at this point. And here, just the expressions go crazy here. Like, brother. Dude, these expressions go so hard, dude. Like, I'm so glad that Sonic Team is also, again, like, we see in Sonic for Tears, and now we're seeing it more in Shadow Generations. Taking the time to um add more detail add more emotion into the um animation and expressions of these characters and it's awesome to see that especially with like even like the other like just the part like just the outside parts of them like with the wings too which also comes to show at this point that song team is going beyond their the usual style of making song games that we're used to with such as with the set pieces, the in-game cutscenes, the visual effects high fidelity that we're seeing nowadays, with the two with the two different modes, 60 FPS, 30 FPS modes with the higher fidelity and lower graphics. Like just the uh, the amount of attention detail they are adding with the graphics and the and the visuals. Um, not just with that, but again with the gameplay. It feels like we're back in that peak era of Sonic level design, and I'm so glad that we're back into it. Because I'm not gonna lie, the hallways, even though I left it with the boost formula. It was starting to get a little bit old. And then the big one right here, folks. The big one right here. Mephilus 
Titans in the game. I called this, by the way, in my video earlier this year. I did call this. I made a prediction saying the Mephilus was going to be in the game. And here he is. Lo and behold, looking better than ever, by the way, with the textures, the scaling on him. Like, bro, so good. My man is looking so smexy right now. Like, look at this boy. Look at him. Now, a question I do have for Mephilus, though, is how big of a role he's going to play in the story. Because... I think, I feel like he would play an important role in the story, but I hope they don't just shove him aside as just a character battle. We defeat him and we walk along to go and to continue to defeat Black Doom. I hope there's more than just that. Um, although I'm afraid that's what it's going to be ending up to be like with the, just a character battle and we move on. I hope Mephilus plays some sort of key role in this story and they can expand upon his character like I mentioned earlier in my video back in February. Like I really hope that they can find a way to expand upon his character. Because again, Mephilus' character has so much potential in this series. And I feel like they didn't they didn't discover that enough when they were doing Sonic 06. Frankly, they didn't really get the chance to discover it at all because of how much limited time they have and how split apart the Sonic team was working on Secret Reigns and 06. So maybe with the whole team together on this one, if the whole team is together on this one, I'm not 100% sure if Sonic team is all working on this one at once. But we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see what happens. And then Forces right here, baby. Like We got Sonic Forces right here. Like There's a very small glimpse of it. Um, yeah, we got more forces right there. Actually, no. Okay, we'll have to go. We'll have to go into the forces gameplay when we get to the PlayStation trailer. It's very short here. It's a very short glitch, but we get a better look at it in the PlayStation trailer. So we'll look at that in a minute. Dude, these animations look so clean, dude. The action in this game is going to be so peak, bro. The action. This is probably going to be some of the best action we've seen in the Sonic series, bro. Hands down. Hands down for sure. And then we got Neil Metal Overlord right here as well. Throwing objects with the Chaos Control. I don't think we've seen that with the Chaos Control yet. And then right here with the Time Eater. Which is another question, like, how often is the Time Eater going to appear in this? Or is this mainly going to be Black Doom and Shadow that are going to be going against each other and, like, interacting the most? I, I think the Time Eater is only going to make a couple of appearances. One, bringing Shadow into the White Void. And then the other one, not 100% sure. I think it's just going to be the Time Eater kicking off the story with Shadow. And the rest of it is going to be um, with the Time um, with the Black Doom and Shadow facing off with each other. And then the Time Eater will probably show up at the end of the Shadow Generations with Sonic and Classic Sonic fighting each other again because now we know for sure both games are connected in the same timeline they're both part of the same story we see shadow here get transported to the white void for the first time um at least i think so this is probably his first time getting transported and then right here out of nowhere maria and gerald are in the void they're just there so my theory first theory of the day right here in this video right here now right now i'm calling it right now i'm calling around this is i'm calling it right now that this is exactly like how classic tales also got warped into the whiteboard with classic sonic tales and sonic and the rest of the game i feel like this is kind of like that maria and jill transported here before the events took place on the arc where the where the entire massacre and everything went down and the arc was condemned this is that i guarantee it theory right now i'm calling it right now this is them being transported right before the events took place. And Mar Shadow actually gets to see Maria and Gerald one last time. I probably will cry to this. Literally, after he defeats Black Doom and the time restores the timeline, he's going to have to say to Mar goodbye to Maria and Gerald again. It's going to be so heartbreaking. I know. I, I know. It, it literally is going to be like the most heartbreaking thing to see again. I wonder how much we're going to be able to interact with them, considering the fact that we also have... Mephilus and also Shadow's Doom powers, which is one thing I actually want to connect right now. So if you recall, in Sonic 06, here's my next theory. Mephilus proclaims Shadow as a threat to humanity. I should clarify, this is not my theory. This is a theory from a chat member and my live stream, SB Gaming. Thanks for the, the thanks for putting out this theory in there. I'll make sure to shout you out. Make sure you guys check them out. But um, SB Gaming chat in my chat. This is basically technically his theory. He mentioned that Shadow's personality will slowly be altered due to the usage of continuous usage of the Doom powers. It'll be more corruption um, to his personality. I am on board with that, and I am sick about that. It makes sense, and the one thing that's holding Shadow together is Maria, because again, it's Maria's wish that he is. is it's Maria's wish that keeps Shadow from doing harm to the world, because he goes, to, he lives life by his own rules. He does whatever he wants to, and he protects the planet how he needs to, because that's how Mar that's the Maria's wish that she left for him before she died. And it does make a lot of sense, considering the fact that the more you notice that. The more he uses his doom powers in, in in this trailer, the more enraged he gets and the more fueled up he gets with anger. So I, I'm, I'm calling it right now. The more he uses his doom powers, the more he becomes like doom 
and becomes reckless in a way. That is basically the best word I can describe is reckless in his actions. The one thing that pulls him back together is Maria's wish and him encountering Maria. Because if Maria's in the in the white void with Gerald, all everyone's all here together in the white void, then it only makes sense. And last but certainly not least, we have the PlayStation trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generation, showcasing some of the abilities you'll be able to use in the DualSense controller with the game. Uh, apparently the microphone is going to have some sort of ability along with the speakers and the, the haptic feedback. I don't know anything about the adapter triggers, they didn't say anything about the triggers. So Sonic vs Shadow is in, this can and is in this expansion, which is awesome to see. I'm glad to see we're actually getting another character battle from, uh, glad to see that the character battle from Sonic Generations base game is coming over the Shadow Generations. I love to see that, that's awesome. Good on them for including that too, by the way. Good on them. And here we go, and better look at Sonic Forces right here. We got this first part, the, the, the first hallway part bit of Sonic Forces as you start it out. I think this is what this part of it is, I believe. Um, it's looking better than ever. Uh, Sunset of Heights is looking better than ever. Like, yo, Forces Redemption arc, maybe? I don't know about Redemption arc, but maybe in terms of its stages, maybe. I hope, maybe they'll do it like a, a new level design for like this Forces stage. I mean, right here, this looks very different. Right here, automatically. It's, it's different by itself. Um, for sure, which is great by the way. Yeah, I hope they can add more pathways to this level because I mean this looks great Like this looks great right here. We got we got different um We got different open manholes that we can jump up in right here. So that looks good. Oh my gosh The dual six controllers in the way now. Okay, but yeah, we got the ramp right here as well But yeah, this look this looks fantastic. This are this looks okay. That's already done I will say though real quick as bad of a game as forces was I'm glad to see they're making use of it in such an awesome way right here Like well, just with the like the lighting here like because they're giving it a little bit of an upgrade because I will say sunset's height sunset's heights Wasn't that bad of a level like it actually was like one of the one of if not like the best levels in Sonic forces so And that's pretty much all I have right now for the um shadow generation story trailer my thoughts on it um, I pretty much, yeah, I've said what I need to. If I keep rambling, I'm gonna come up with stuff that makes no sense. But from what I've seen right here, the story is looking exactly how I would hope it would be. I did not expect Maria and Gerald to be involved in it. I just hope that Mephilus was in it. We have Mephilus in it, thank goodness. Um, that, that's a major, that's a massive W right there. Um, with Mar Maria Robotnik, that's just, that's just, that's the IT on the cake for this story, man. This is gonna be one heck of a, a heck of a narrative for Shadow Generations, and I cannot wait to experience it, uh, when this game drops. Like, this is, this is literally, like, again, everything we are getting right now is literally everything that I've been wanting from the series for so long. And, here it is, we're getting literally everything that I've been asking for from this series, with its serious tone and everything, and it looks like we're getting that. And all I have to say about this, what are your guys' thoughts on the story trailer for so Sonic X Shadow Generations? Do you guys think this is the perfect narrative? Do you guys think there could be a lot more added to it? Or, um, do you think that... Or there's some things that you disagree with, or... Let me know your guys' theories down in the comments below. Again, let me know all your thoughts in the comments down below, along with your theories. Um, anything else you have regarding this trailer in the comments below. Now, as always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this trailer. If you happen... As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you happen to enjoy a little something out of this video, make sure you leave a like down below, as it always helps. And if you want to see more Sonic and Nintendo content on the channel, make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss out on a single video or a live stream that I do. I will be doing a follow-up video after Tokyo Game Show, talking about everything we know about Sonic X Shadow Generations for the majority majority of it. So make sure you stay tuned for that video when that drops. That'll drop probably right before the game drops. So stay tuned for that video when I when that comes out. And I think with that said, that's all I pretty much have to say here. And, and until next time, I'm going to drown this cup of coffee because I haven't had sleep for the past 24 hours. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.